Pet Cemetery is the latest adaptation of Stephen King's novel. Of course we had a film released back in 1989, which let's face it, hasn't aged very well. It's just a bit cheesy by today's standards. This 2019 version is directed by Kevin Kolsch and Dennis Widmere, who I'll admit I'm not familiar with their previous work, but Pet Cemetery is about a family moving from Boston to Ludlow, Maine, so that the parents can spend more time with their children and escape some past trauma. Of course, the property the family moves to happens to contain a very creepy pet cemetery, which has the power to bring back things from the dead. Now I thought this was a pretty lean but solid horror film. I'll admit I haven't read Stephen King's novel, but I am familiar with Pet Cemetery. This version is absolutely an adaptation, where certain things are changed, which is fine to me. I don't need an exact replica of the source material on the big screen, otherwise I'd just go to the source material. This movie has some really solid performances, especially from the child actors. Jatay Lawrence, who plays the daughter Ellie, is just crazy talented. Without spoiling anything, all I can say is she's got a bright future. Amy Simet, who plays the mum Rachel, is fantastic and gets the most to do out of the whole cast because her character has this whole other backstory that gets explored and it's absolutely terrifying as she undergoes these various stages of grief and self-imposed guilt over things that happened in her past. Jason Clark brings a lot to the father Lewis, really adding a lot of nuance to a role that isn't super fleshed out. The father is our primary focal point in the film, but a lot of the more interesting stuff in the film happens around him. Lewis is very definitively against the idea of there being an afterlife, and so when the pet cemetery is introduced to him and the power of what it can do, suddenly all of his principles and beliefs are challenged, and it's very interesting seeing him trying to understand the cemetery and process what is happening at his property. The filmmakers never delve too much into these themes, and they're explored more visually in dreamlike occurrences, so there never ends up being any real concrete message behind them. The movie does have a lot of exposition in the early half of the film, trying to set up the cemetery, but what I did appreciate is this film being pretty lean and focused. They never go overboard in explaining all of the supernatural stuff, focusing more on the family's journey and how the place is affecting them. And of course, John Lithgow is in the film as the elderly neighbour Judd, who's just utterly fantastic in the movie. He does get stuck with a lot of the exposition, but he is able to sell it and draws you in with all the information. Pet Cemetery is dark and at times really brutal and uncompromising, so this movie won't be for everyone. They definitely don't pull any punches in portraying some of the horror. The movie is mainly focused on building suspense and tension, so don't go into this movie expecting it. The film keeps you on your toes and when the horror does hit, the movie goes all in. So if you're someone who's squeamish, this movie might not be for you. The movie is wonderfully shot though, where there being a lot of texture to the images that make the shots look all the more creepy and do a great job of making you feel like you're there in the moment. The movie really gets going though in the second half where we've gone through all of the setup, making the third act really quite something special as it's just this intense sequence of events that just evokes the sense of dread of what might happen. I am annoyed that the trailer spoiled some of the big twists in the film, which if I had gone into the film not knowing those twists, I think I would have been impacted far more. So I'm definitely bummed out that the trailer spoiled a lot. The ending of this film is probably going to split a few people. I personally was fine with it. To me it felt like that was what the movie was building up to and ultimately became the logical way to end it. But I totally understand if some people walk out of the film feeling like they wanted more. Overall Pet Cemetery is a solid very well made horror film that Stephen King fans should appreciate even with the changes it makes. There are some fun little nods to other King properties that are worth paying attention to so definitely keep an eye out for those. Pet Cemetery has its flaws but to me they were never a major detriment to the film. The positives definitely outweigh the bad. Of course this movie will probably pique the interest of a few people and get them into reading the book, which is always a good thing. If you can handle a more serious horror film that, while having a few jump scares, is more interested in the suspense and terror, but goes all out when showing the horror, then you'll get something out of Pet Cemetery. But this movie will not be for everyone, and that's perfectly fine too. Pet Cemetery gets a 7.5 out of 10 for me. Guys, I hope you like this review. If you want to see more reviews just like this one, stay right here for your monofix. Bye guys.